Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we are at another video. Listen, I've been getting a lot of comments between YouTube and TikTok. Hey, I need some Mad Maggie tips. In this video, we're gonna go more in depth about all of Mad Maggie's abilities, her passive, her Q, her ball, everything. We're gonna go through all the crazy clips that I've been doing and explain all of my thought processes behind this and, and everything that happened in these clips. All right, so in this clip, what happens is, is that my teammate Stewie was uh, out here looting and there was a team Valk ulting in. So the team Valk ulting in saw him that he was way out solo. As you can see, like me and my teammate are in this building. Uh, maybe we don't get picked up on scan, but he just looks like a straight solo. So they pretty much just straight land on him. And I don't blame him because uh, I would probably do the same thing. That's a free kill. Yep. So the first thing I do is kind of like throw a drill to kind of cut them off. If they, if they take too much damage, they might want to back off. And if a team is just like, they're not really AP or straight W key, they'll kind of like back off and to give me and uh, Kahuna some time. So however, they kind of just go through it. It does do a little bit of damage, That's but not too so much. You guys. The Mad Maggie ball right here is going to go huge, mainly because it's in this tube. They don't really have too much where to go. A lot of damage, a lot of damage there. Awesome. Had two knocks there on, on uh, ultimate and nades. And the last one just gets cleaned up around the corner back there. I actually don't get on myself, but he does get cleaned up there. That was a quick one right there. So we'll go through another Mad Maggie ultimate. So the Mad Maggie ultimate, what everybody has to understand about the ultimate is that it is, it has a couple different things. People can use it to move around the map. Yes, you can use the little pellets that it drops and you can get the speed boost, which is nice. Especially if you're trying to rotate and you're getting fried or whatever you're getting cut off, you need to mo rotate a little quicker. You can use it, it does give you the speed boost. However, I try not to use it in that regard because it's way more valuable in an offensive way. However, because you get her ultimate back so quickly without a gold helmet, it doesn't matter too much if you use it in either regard. I would just prefer to reserve it. I'd rather rotate early and I would rather use it in a fight than to use it to move around the map. And here's another reason why you would probably want to use it offensively. So we have this team. Uh, we're pretty, this is a broken moon. Uh, we was kind of just held up. It's top five. We had pretty good KP, so we didn't want to potentially throw the game. So we're just hanging out. Uh, we hear a team behind us. Woody Bear spots them. We take a couple pick shots to tell them, hopefully they just, you know, mind their business. However, the Wraith portal or the Wraith wants to portal in and wants to take the fight. No problem. This is how that turns out. I stuck one, stuck one. So because I got that stuck, I know that stun from this arc is going to already do some good damage and do a stun if they're close. The ball is only going to attribute to that. So the ball is going to come in huge because what's going to happen is it's going to tap that first person on the right and it's going to stun them. And it's just free beams from there. That's a free knock. Plus on top of that, the Wraith is already broken and it looks like there's some flesh damage back there too, but that's probably from the ultimate, uh, Sears ultimate. Yeah, run. two knocks right here. Crack this person up top. The Wraith takes the portal back, but and eventually, you know, she dies because the other two chases down and gets the kills. I just wait at the portal to make sure she doesn't come back. And I'll, you know, if she does, then I'll fry her. But the big thing about the ball, about the ball is, is that if I get a tap, like I said, it gets a stun and the stun is way more valuable than the 10, 20 damage, whatever damage it does. The stun is way, way more valuable because that stun allows you to just easily put every single shot into that person. And here's another example of that. So those of you who might have seen this clip, this is basically a, a wall rate to the wall rotate for the win. Basically, we rotate that out of the wall when there's three uh, three teams well. up. Right uh, right then well. what happens is that I coincidentally get broken at like the worst possible time. Gotta pop it back. Get up here. When I heal up, we take the Horizon Q up and knock all three of them off the roof. Rumble, rumble. Boom. This guy is stunned. Yeah, he's in the air. He's moving, but he's stunned. The other two also. I got two reds here. I got a red for 20, a red for eight, and I guess some flush damage. I'm not sure what the flush damage is for, but it's there. When this horizon, uh, correction, when this pathfinder gets on the ground, he's stuck. Dead. Done. That's where the ball is the most valuable on that stun. If you can get a tap on the stun, it's almost like getting hit by Bangalore ultimately, you know, the, the barrage where you're just stunned and you're kind of just sitting there just like you can't move, you can't do nothing. That's where you get your free beams. Dead. 
the vantage the other person i was there was was already pretty weak from what i understand so she went down really really quickly i'm gonna break this door open What was the bullet? That's the bullet. Good. Now, the other cool thing that you could do with the Mag Maggie is that if somebody's sitting on a door, you have two options to get them off the door. You can use the Q. Now, the great thing about the Q, the drill, is that it pretty much goes through all surfaces, provided that it actually works, because it is a little buggy. There's in certain situations where if I throw a Q right here on this box, like if there's somebody sitting here that I broke and I Q through the box, Sometimes it doesn't go through the box. Hopefully uh, EA and Respawn understand that and they put a fix to it. But anyway, so you could use a cue on the door. That'll make the person get off the door. If they don't get off the door and they decided to tank it, well, not only are they losing a lot of health, uh, the door is gonna break. So it breaks the door. They do a lot of damage. You could easily do 50 damage in about three seconds, easy. If they sit on any more than that, you're talking about a shield crack, potentially more. However, if you don't have your cue, like right here, I don't, I don't have it for another 12 seconds. You can use the ball. The ball is arguably way more fun, but you can do it. That gets a re-knock. Because of her Mad Maggie passive, where as soon as I do damage, I get to see through walls, as you could tell. Uh, if I could just rewind this back just a little bit. So I did damage to the both of them, right? He actually, you know, as you could clearly see, got re-knocked and he's back on the ground. However, this crypto, whoever this is, got hurt, still up, and I could see exactly where he is. So I know he didn't go to the left or the right, or I mean, he didn't go to the left or somewhere down this way, down the hallway. He's right here because it's highlighted for me. This passive works for about a second. It's very, very quick. Don't rely on it uh, as like a bloodhound scan or at least before everything was you know, tra uh, changed and nerfed and whatnot. Don't take it as like a Bloodhound scan or a Seer Q or Seer Ultimate. It is very, very quick and it only works for you. So you're the only person that can see the outlines. This works through smokes, catalyst wall, and everything that prevents your direct line of sight or any like obscurity and vision, you see right through all the walls with the Maggie Pass. And I'm like, oh, you're right here, boom, dead. Now, Mad Maggie also has made yeah, me make crazy opportunities in any game scenarios uh, with her ball and her, her abilities. In this particular situation, it's a 2v3, I believe, or a 2v2. They're kind of sitting up on this wall. They're pushing them a little bit. They're putting some pressure on them. I try to rip a bat real quick, try to get some heals up. They get the height advantage. I throw the ball. For destructive purposes. Don't Boom. The Wraith was stunned. She couldn't do anything. She was dead. Dead to rights. And I just knock her. Get the free. It's literally free kills. I'm telling you. The Bloodhound also got hit. I did call it the double tap. I just didn't know where he went. I was just focused on at least one. Hold the door. Hold the other door. Hold that door. Yep. Fine, fine, fine. You win this. You win this. You win this. That's it. All right. Now let's talk about do some of the other intricacies. Intricacies. Uh, what happens in this clip is that there was a, a team rotating into these buildings. We kind of cut them off. They got it into the inside. I did manage to get a knock on the outside, as you can see right here with the flat line. But there was nothing special about that. The others are inside. So to add more pressure, I ball in and start using all the abilities. Oh, God, oh, God. For some reason, I couldn't get any damage on that. I don't know if I just couldn't shoot through this stupid thing right here, but you know, it is what it is. But I was able to just add pressure and it's just, Mad Maggie is strictly about adding pressure and just not letting the enemy team get a chance to kind of like regain, it, even if it's for half a second. You just, it's just constant pressure. Okay, so what happens here is you can see the Bangalore smoked off the door. I don't know if that was a friendly one or not, but the Bangalore smoked off the door. The Valkyrie is actually going to try to make a roof rat play. However, the, the enemy team has also thought the same thing. Try to get us from behind. I threw the thermite there to try to prevent the push while we try to figure something out. This, yeah, well, this fight is actually dragging out longer than it needs to be, but it, you know, it is what it is. He starts fighting. I actually wanted to help him, but thanks to, you know, the Bangalore is taking damage. The seer walks through my thermite. Even though he's fully smoked out, I don't have a digi. The passive comes in clutch. I see him clear as day. Dead. He has no idea. 
throw the Q, throw the ball, add pressure. I have nothing. I'm 10 HP or 30 HP, so I had to heal up real quick. If I was heal up, if I had shields, I was pushing hard on that horizon. It's, I'm telling you guys, it's all about adding pressure. In this clip, this is actually kind of like an infamous clip that's getting some traction right now. Um, it's labeled, I thought they were cheating. I'm not gonna go into reason why. But anyway, let's talk about the Maggie passives and all that stuff. So, I don't even see this guy. As you can see, it's through two structures, this box and this big ass arch. The ball missed kind of, but it just tapped him. It only did two damage. But like I said, it's all about information with the comes to our pass. I know where he is. He's pushing up and he's pushing up on his left. That's the calm I make. Hey, one to your left, swing your left. Dead. He gets the knock, thankfully. Now, all I was doing right there with that spray is trying to, number one, do a little bit of damage to help the fight. And if I do just enough damage, or if not just enough damage, if I get any damage, I should say, I get to see him through the smoke. And that's what I was going for. I was trying to get the walls through the smoke. I can't see, I can't see. Just play slow, I popped the button. I can tell he's knocked um, for some God forbidden reason. Um, I don't see him. So he's right, there. Right. However, right I'm doing right damage. I'm burning. I'm I can see exactly where he is. There's two of them right here. Boom. I'm doing so much force damage. Swing. Boom. Let's watch that back. I'm doing so much force damage. I see all three of them. The knock, the lifeline, the blood. I see all three of them. Can I clean it up? So let's talk about some other buffs that kind of happened recently. So uh, as the start of the season, as you can tell, they reorganize all the legend classes. So there's the assault class, skirmisher, control, um, recon, and uh, support, right? So everybody has their own classes of what they can and can't do. Mad Maggie has gotten also another buff because she's in the assault class. So now, as you can see, as I'm looting this box, you can see what's my current inventory. So I'm currently, I'm running a massive with a 301. As I'm looting, as you can see right here, typically the maximum amount of ammo that you could have in a stack was traditionally 60. So you have 60 light ammo or 60 heavy ammo or whatever, but it was 60. Other, you know, other ammo types will give you different, like the shotgun originally was 60, um, sniper was 36, I believe, and everything had their own, you know, amount. However, now with the assault class buff, everybody gets extra. So I get an extra five bullets on the shotgun because it gets to 21 max. I get an extra 20 bullets I can carry per stack on every uh, main type of ammo. So like energy, light, heavy, I can carry up to 80 per stack. So now these four stacks, 80, uh, 80 160, 243, like I'm already in these four stacks carrying over 300 ammo. So that saves me a stack to either carry more nades, heals, cells, syringes, medkits, whatever. Or I could be a complete degenerate fill up the whole top line, which does happen on occasions if I'm just looting very quickly. Um, and I have like 600 ammo. Although very often, in, you know, traditionally before pre, uh, season 16, I would typically have anywhere from four to five stacks of light ammo. That would take me about 240 to 300 uh, to 300 even of light ammo or heavy ammo. And I would usually be pretty good with that. Um, if I was running double, sorry, if I was running a, a 301 and a car, let's say, I would typically do 180 and 180, or I would do 240 and like 120. Uh, now with that buff, with the assault class buff, I can carry way more ammo in less stacks and, and, and I can then more heals. I have a Phoenix kit here and I have no problem. Usually I will drop the Phoenix kit for more ammo or another nade or whatever. However, here I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have a lot of ammo here. Once I stock up, I'm gonna keep the Phoenix. I have two nades here still. A bunch of cells, six bats. I'm pretty stacked. I'm chilling. Now let's talk about this really quickly. So in this particular situation, it was a 3v1, the Pathfinder's dead. There's Newcastle, Wraith, and an Octane. Octane's off to my right coming up behind me. Uh, the Newcastle is about to, or he is rising to Wraith, and he throws the deployable shield. Now, there's pretty much nothing that really card counters Maggie except Newcastle. Nothing blocks a Mad Maggie drill as long as you place it correctly or miss it. Now, when it comes to Newcastle's deployable shield, this little red thing coming out towards me, you can attach your drill to it. You're gonna obviously do shield damage, but that's not an important thing. If the castle is broken and he's hiding behind his deployable shield, you can throw your drill behind the shield or on the shield, I should say, and you can continue to do damage on him. And the castle is gonna freak out. He's either gonna break his bat to 
put some to get some space between the drill and himself which hopefully gives me enough of an opening to then finish the knock or he's just gonna move his deployable shield away from him which hopefully then gives me more than enough space to then secure the knock now if you decide to throw a mad maggie ball at the deployable shield it actually will reflect it it will not break keep that in mind so save your ball against the newcastle deployable shield same thing for the wall the wall doesn't necessarily go away when you throw the mad maggie ball it kind of just tanks it the only thing that it completely destroys when it hits on impact is the gibby bubble when the gibby bubbles down then it actually breaks so i don't have my ball because i ever use it however you see the newcastle is here and he's kind of weak behind his shield or behind his wall so there's only so many places he can be so i'm gonna throw it back there And keep in mind, also, as you can tell, I was still kind of like in the reload animation when I throw my drill. You can use your drill when you're reloading, when you're putting on heels, and pretty much when you're doing anything other than throwing on the ball. Burn, baby, burn. I burned two of them back there. They kind of back off. They figure out what they're going to do. I'll make the push. Get the knock. Boom. Gear and clean it up. Okay, so in this clip, I don't know if you guys seen it. This is a more recent clip, but we're gonna talk about it anyway. So it's a 3v3 or it's a full team, and uh, we're pressing up on him. The Ooh, Valkyrie so pretty much gets caught way out. Um, in front of me. And we're gonna see what happens. So okay, so you have a near 100 damage on purple right here, right? He's sitting behind the box. I know for a fact my drill's gonna work here. I'm pretty sure, as long as I place it correctly. I'm still ADSing and I can throw my drill. So like I said, you can throw your drill pretty much whenever, as long as you're not throwing a ball. You could, you could, you could throw it in the air, not advisable. It's very inaccurate because when you hit the ground, like, you know, you just shoot it off. So definitely don't do it in the air, but you can do it. Box right behind the box. Right. Big, damage. Big damage, big damage. He's gotta be at least 50 HP. Uh, yeah, and a good I knock think knock. he gets the knock, perfect. We press up, that guy's flush damage for whatever reason. I have the R9. To my right, yeah, there cracks. Right. Throw the ball to add pressure. It mi it does miss, and I was like, damn, it kind of missed. He's probably gonna get away. However, oh. Oh, fuck. the wraith gets stunned. It breaks. I just have to clean it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that covers just about everything. We went through a bunch of clips to talking about, you know, how to use Maggie's kit, her Q, her drill, her passive to the best of your advantage. I know I didn't cover the shotgun one. I mean, you can run the same speed as if your shotgun one is out versus if it was away. Okay, big, big whoop. Okay, okay. Mad Mag is perfect. This is why she's 100% going to be in the metal pool and you're going to see her a lot more often, especially in rank, especially in the higher tier lobbies. A lot of people are going to play her. I'm telling you, she's going to be meta, guys. So listen if you guys like this video i'd really appreciate it if you did like subscribe i'm live all the time on this channel so don't be afraid to stop by and say what's up i play mad maggie i've been maining her since the pretty much tail end of season 14. so you get to see it all live in action you can ask me more questions in chat and i hope you guys have a good rest of your one i'll see you guys in the next one